All right, guys, I'm here with another video for you. Um, what we're looking at here at the very first screen is the fort territory and the or the alliance territory, I should say. And in the center, we got the black square for the fort. And at the corner of the fort territory, we have these other little black squares kind of poorly faded in there. And uh, then at the end, we have the total territory that can cover all 100 members using only four towers in which you do get a fifth eventually but we'll talk about the fifth one later for now we're going to switch over to this page and the one through eight here uh, is not basically the alliance rank one two three four so on it is just a placement marker uh, for this one spot, this two spot, this three spot, so on. Uh, so the top eight alliance would take these. And anyone in the corner, say like the top left here, uh, they would want to be allied with one and eight. So they feel safe and they don't feel like they're going to be attacked. Uh, same with each corner uh, for two and three, four and five, six and seven. And... Um, when it comes to Wasteland Kings, uh, you got the general layout here with all the coordinates uh, for maximum spacing plus maximum coverage. And uh, we're going to switch over to the other one now. That way we can give a better detailed view. If you're looking to set it up this way, the first way I've just showed you, uh, you're going to want to count from each tile square here say it's 268 and 460 or 486 for this one and we are counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 squares up uh, from that location and from these two down here we can see 268 486 uh, going down to the one directly below it is 265 489 so each square is plus one on each number so if we add 13 to both of those we get 281 and 480 or 499 uh, for our fort lo location and if we want to take it over to the side we're going to come here to number three and we're looking at it would be 285 and 521 trying to figure the fort location for number three and we're going to want the bottom right hand corner when you're looking at a left or right uh, x and y horizontal map you're always going to want the bottom right corner because of a certain tilt that you get to the map it's basically rotated 90 degrees and going vertically uh, and all these squares are more like diamonds instead of square. But less on that because it does get more and more confusing the more I try to talk into it. Uh, so from 285 to 521, uh, we're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 to get to the end. And now the problem is we're at the top. So we're actually going to have to go down one, and since we're going down, we're going to subtract, so it's actually a total of 12 that we're changing. Uh, and for 521, it's going to still be the 13 and minus the 1, so 12. And our placement for that one is going to be 297 and 534. And then each tower on the corner of the fort territory. Now, say you don't like my method uh, for this particular one anyway uh, and you're like well I think all top 10 alliances should be on the mud all right I've got a little something here for you it's not as pretty and there are two alliances that sort of suffer one might suffer more than the other uh, number seven down here I've looked at it I believe you can fit all 100 members within the alliance territory still um, but due to spacing issues, number two, I believe, has a few people that's going to be left out of the territory. And if they are not, 
uh, that would be very surprising. But most people in Alliance have um, alternate accounts, or even some with alternate accounts, they can sit outside the boundary. There's no special thing that they need to have because it's only an alternate. Not saying that altern alternates aren't important, but that's just my opinion. So if we do this, we got all top 10 circling in the mud, maximum coverage with only a little bit of lines for resources to spawn in. Uh, and there will be some lines in between like we've seen with the other blue uh, territory mapping. So you'd have some resources cutting through the center, um, top and left and right of each territory. And uh, the only reason you would end up with a lair inside your area is if someone had teleported out for a reason and a lair had spawned in there or something, which is always possible. Um, but leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you like. And uh, I might even be able to add uh, some of these pictures to a Google Drive so you can download them nice and easy and be able to see the zenith coordinates uh, without too much hassle.